Yeah. This video is about uh, spooking when the horse spooks or when the horse is afraid of something and he wants to bolt or he reacts to that scary spooky thing. What should you do as a good rider? Now, as I said before, in horses' nature, they react, or should I say act, then think, which is the complete opposite of what we do. We think, then act or react. They react or act, then think. So when he sees something for the first time, it does not matter what is it. It doesn't matter if it's a dog, a camel, a cow, whatever. If it's a new thing for him, in his mind, he believes it's painful. That's why he fears it. The reason for his fear, the reason he's spooked, is he believes that this thing will hurt me. And his way of uh, reacting to it, or his way of defending himself as a horse, is just running away. So if you talk to the horse in his, let's say, language, in his nature, this is what he will say. This is a new thing. I believe as a horse it is going to hurt me, so I will defend myself by just running away. So it's our job to let him know that the reason that made him run away is not actually true. Or should I say it disappeared? So if the reason for uh, running away or let's say being afraid is gone, you should not be afraid anymore. That, it's just that simple. But all of us want to achieve that or do that. But the horse will connect completely between what we do and the spooky or the scary object itself. So I'm riding a horse, you're riding the same horse or a different horse. And both horses feared or were spooked from a scary thing that they saw for the first time. A dog, a cat, a car, a camel, whatever. Both of them wanted to bolt to the opposite direction. That's their nature. If he fears something in the left side, he completely, uh, let's say, bolts to the right side or the opposite. Or if he fears something from the back side, he will bolt uh, forward or the opposite. If he sees something in the uh, in forward or in front of him, he will bolt to the opposite side, uh, back. So when he tries to bolt to the opposite direction, unconsciously, as a bad rider, I will try to stop him the wrong way by uh, using strength and pulling the rein. So he will connect between the bad reaction I made or did and the spooky or the scary object itself. In the same exact situation, if you are a better rider, your reaction when he spooked and bolted or tried to bolt was correct. It was not a bad reaction, it was a correct reaction. You did not use strength, but again you just did not let go of the rein. You were with the horse, which made you control the horse. So both of them, with both of us, tried to spook and run away and bolt. Or should I say, when they spooked, they tried to bolt. In my case, he was successful because my reaction was bad as a bad rider. In your case, the reaction was correct and he was not able to uh, bolt. He was not successful in bolting because your reaction was correct and you were able to control him and stop him. So he will connect between the scary object and your reaction and the scary object and my reaction. In my case, he keeps being afraid and spooked and will never develop because he believes the scary thing did hurt him. Even though the scary thing itself with both of us did not hurt him. But my reaction was painful in his mind, so he connects between both of them. In your case, the spooky uh, thing did not hurt him, but your reaction did not hurt him also. So it's not about the scary thing. All of us can and will make him know that the scary thing is not going to hurt you. The question is, will you hurt him or not as a reaction? And it's something you do in, a, let's say, a matter of seconds, unconsciously. So if you don't have the experience, the talent, the gift, unconsciously you will use strength. That's why you see a lot of horses having a real problem with cars, big trucks, uh, dogs, cows in some countries, uh, camels. People believe that the horse actually fears that thing. Of course, he fears it if he sees it for the f first time. But why does the fear keep happening? Why doesn't the fear go away or disappear? They believe it's the scary thing itself. I know it's not the scary thing uh, itself. What is the proof? The same horse with the same scary object will be completely different if you ride him in a better way. So a horse who completely fears cows or camels or dogs, if you ride him in a better way, with time, 
the fear will completely disappear which means it was not the scary thing itself it was not the bit it was not the saddle it was not the martingale it was my bad wrong way of riding and when you rode the horse as a good rider the result completely changed now the bottom line in this in my opinion is that people make this mistake they think it's about letting the horse know that the scary object is not painful so you want him to get used to it and that's a wrong thing I don't want him to get used to it I want him to know that even if you see it for the first time even if you did not get used to it I don't want you to feel it because I'm with you trust me enough I will not hurt you I will not let anything else hurt you because if you just let him get used to it if I just change the size or the color of the scary thing he will bolt again in his mind he's saying any new thing means I will bolt and the rider will let me know with time that the scary thing is not painful then I will stop so each and every time I spook I will bolt I will be successful that means the rider is not worthy of my trust but when I say as a good rider fear it or don't fear it it is spooky or it's not spooky you will not bolt because my reaction is correct this is the ultimate achievement I want to achieve because it's real trust real trust means someone is doing something for you even though they don't let's say want to do it they are afraid but they trust you enough to go with you you have a child and he's afraid of that room or that place that dark place he does not want to do it but he's, but he's doing it because you are with him he is afraid but he's doing it for you this is real trust but if he says I'm not going in unless you turn the lights on it's not trust so there is a big difference between teaching the horse for a, let's say a certain object and he gets used to it then you show me the final result and between showing me total control even when he fears it he spooked he was afraid he wanted to bolt he wanted to run away he was not successful the only way to achieve that is the correct hand reaction doing it by the bit alone is impossible physically visually doing it with the equ equipment and tools impossible using strength impossible the only way for total control when he totally spooks is the correct hand reaction what is the proof give me any bad rider who can actually achieve that the horse spooked the horse wants to run away and the rider is able to stop the horse and move him back while he's spooked with one finger impossible only good ways or methods of riding are able to achieve that so there's a big difference in my opinion between uh, controlling the horse when, when he spooks and just letting the horse get used or get used to a certain object what is the difference if he gets used to it if I just change the color or the size of the scary thing he will run away so it's just a matter of time before he sees something new to him and he bolts again but if I say fear it or not spook or don't you will not run away this is what I want because when you ride him bareback without equipments without tools in open places this is what's, what's going to happen he will see different things cars camels dogs cows sheep so if he uh, let's say run away or bolts every single time he feels something new that's a problem so control him when he spook or when he spooks instead of letting him get used to the scary object the first one cannot be done uh, with a bad or uh, let's say wrong method of riding the second one can be done with anyone or by anyone if they have the time enough to do it if you have enough time to do it anyone can get, make the horse get used to a scary object but not anyone can control the horse when he spooks only few good correct methods of riding are able to do that that's my opinion about spooking or being afraid of scary objects or scary things oh yeah